Here's an example of how to start and or create parabolas for the quadratic selfie project. Um, just to be sure you know, it should already be logged in with your name here in the corner and it should be named quadratic selfie project. Mine says two because this is my second one. Um, you should already have a picture uploaded into your graph. This is my dog Tilly and I'm gonna show you how to get a parabola to be her chin so that you know how to play along. Um, once you have your picture uploaded and anytime you want to start, you're going to look at your paper for the name of the function that you want. My next function is going to be named a of x. We always want to start with the quadratic parent function, a of x equal to x squared. Now I already put the parentheses because I know I'm going to be moving it to the left and the right. My job is to choose an a, an h, and a k in that order, maybe not in that order, but written in the equation that will make the parabola look like my dog's chin. Okay, so let's pick some numbers. The first thing I want out of this parabola is I need it to move down because I need it to be on this level. So that's a K change. That's gonna be a vertical translation. and I want it to go down 1.3 units. Now, if I had tried two, not 12, if I had tried two, I'd be like, oh, that's too low. So I need to make the number less. One is not low enough. So I keep playing until I have the correct number there to get it the height that I want. Okay, so I subtracted 1.3. That's a vertical translation down 1.3 units. That's what I would write on my paper. Then I'm going to need to move it to the left. Nope, that's the right. I'm gonna need to move it to the right so that the parabola lines up on her chin. To move it to the right, I'm gonna be subtracting an H value from the inside. Now again, if I had done two, that's too much and one is not really enough. So if I'm getting really accurate, I'm gonna do 1.1. 1. 1. 1. I'm actually gonna lower it one a little bit. That's pretty good. Now her chin is a little bit skinnier than that because it's a little snout. So I'm gonna make it skinny. Uh, I'm gonna stretch it up, make it narrower. The kind of numbers that make it narrower are uh, Dolly Parton numbers. If I use the number two, that's too little. So I'm gonna use something less than that. I'm gonna use like three over two still a Dolly Parton fraction and it looks about the shape of her chin. Good enough for now. So I would write down that that's a vertical stretch by a factor of two, three halves or 1.5. Okay, the bigger the number you make it on the top, the skinnier it will be. The bigger you make the number on the bottom, the wider it will be. Okay, I've written, I will have written this down by now and uh, told me the quadratic transformation here. All I have to do is cut it off so it doesn't extend too far. The way that I do that is by using the squiggly brackets and picking a left and a right number. Now I have to choose the left and the right number for this to show up. And yeah, it does disappear in the middle of it. But if you look on the left, I want it to show up basically from at zero. Uh, we'll go from zero to two right now. Okay, if I cut it off from zero to two, it goes from zero to two. Now that's not really far enough here. I want it to kind of start here. So I'm gonna do 0 0.134, 0 0.134. Perfect, that's the number that I want to make her chin. Now I need it to extend a little bit further because you see it doesn't really reach her chin. So why don't I go to like 2.1? That looks pretty good. Let's make it a little bit better, 2.066. Okay, there's Tilly's chin. I've cut it off so that it's only appearing where I need her chin to be. Okay, if I wanna make the top of her head here, just to show you a different one, uh, I'm gonna start with the b of x function, b of x equal to uh, x squared. Always start with the parent function. Now, the top of her head is kind of a, it's a sad parabola. So I'm gonna make the a value negative. I know that's gonna happen. I need to also move it to the left, so I'm, or to the right, so I'm gonna subtract a number, probably like, Two. Uh, it's too far. How about 1.5? Nope, that's 2.5. 1.5. 1.4. 1.4. Mm, there we go. And now I need to move it up. That's the K value to move it up. So I'm going to move it up to about 3. Not high enough. 3.1. No, 3.2. Too high. 3.15. That's good. So it's made it to the top of her head. I have done a reflection over the x-axis. I've uh, horizontally translated it to the right 1.45 units, and I vertically translated it up 3.15 units. Now I just need to make it wider because it's not the shape of her head. To make it wide, I'm gonna use a J-low number, which means it's between zero and one. 
Um, I'm going to start with one half, and if I need it to be even wider than that, I make the bottom wider. The wider, or the bigger I make the bottom number, the wider the parabola is going to be. And you know what? That's going to be it. Now I only want this to show up like right in between her ears, because I'm going to make this look really good with my dog. And so that is a prop I'm clicking on here to see what the x value is. It's point zero five zero point five four. So I know that's going to be my left number. And then I need to figure out what the right number is. It's about 2.48. That's the right x value. So I do less than or equal to 2.48. And there we have the top of Tilly's head. So if I take away what I'm tracing, doesn't really look like a dog yet, but if I kept doing this process of finding curves and making their parabola, I would be good. Make sure every time you're done, you press save so that you have something saved in case the computers go out and that you're filling out your parabola's paper with the transformations that are happening each time. So you write down the equation, tell me the transformation, then you write down the domain and range. Okay, keep repeating this over and over and over again until your face or your emoji or your dog is drawn on your graph. If you have any questions, uh, watch the video again because you'll watch me do it over and over.